from fentanyl poisonings to horrific murders. There are empty chairs tonight at kitchen tables just like this one because of President Biden's senseless border policies. Just think about Lake and Riley. In my neighboring state of Georgia, this beautiful 22-year-old nursing student went out on a jog one morning, but she never got the opportunity to return home. She was brutally murdered by one of the millions of illegal border crossers President Biden chose to release into our homeland. Y'all, as a mom, I can't quit thinking about this. I mean, this could have been my daughter. This could have been yours. And tonight, President Biden finally said her name. But he refused to take responsibility for his own actions. Mr. President, enough is enough. Innocent Americans are dying, and you only have yourself to blame. Fulfill your oath of office, reverse your policies, end this crisis, and stop the suffering. Senator Katie Britt's accountability in the context of border policy goes beyond merely holding the president responsible for decisions that have led to issues such as fentanyl addiction, murder, and a sweeping crisis. Senator Katie Britt underscores personal responsibility and sincerity, urging President Joe Biden to take accountability for his actions. Emphasizing the importance of individuals owning up to their choices is pivotal. Examining Senator Katie Britt's emotional appeal, particularly concerning the case of Lake and Riley, reveals an attempt to evoke public sympathy and concern by directly tying policymaking to tangible and tragic outcomes. Senator Katie Britt's plea for action and responsibility, urging President Joe Biden to uphold the oath of office, reverse policies, and address the crisis can be viewed as a call for responsible governance and a demonstration of empathy towards the public's yearning for leadership and accountability. Describing the border crisis as the wellspring of anguish for innocent Americans, the human experiences and speeches in the midst of this crisis underscore the conservative facets of pain and responsibility.